Hey y'all, hope everybody's having a really awesome Saturday. I'm excited that tomorrow is Sunday. Since I can't have a pool here because our house has four different apartments and there's some little ones and, um, you know, I don't want that kind of danger. She plays with a big bucket of water every day. Oh look, here's the ice cream man. There was a kitten in there. Brutus. Look at them lazy cats. And their big hunk of ham I gave them. Mama. I see one. Domino. Aww. Here we go. Hello, Domino. She's such a sweetheart. Aww. It's been a really good day, and I'm still very happy and relieved that for Mackenzie we are done with Elmwood. Now, we do still have two other children in Elmwood, but we've never had any problems with either one of them, which, you know, I think is kind of strange because, um, you know, there was a period of time, my boy, my, my boy is 17 now, um, but there, you know, of course, was a period of time that he was in middle school, and you know how much middle school boys like to shower, which is like never. And he had a dog at that time that slept basically in bed with him, so he kind of smelled like a dog. Anyway, you know, I never got any complaints about that, but Mackenzie, you know, she could have a pair of pants that have stains that are just, you know, from washing them with dark clothes, because, you know, my husband usually does the laundry because we have to use a laundromat right now because this place doesn't have a washer and dryer hookup and he just kind of tosses them in there so sometimes that happens but you know like that's the kind of stupid stuff they would send notes home about you sent her in with soiled pants no they're just stained and who cares I always wondered how that affected their learning or, you know, teaching her. It's, it's just one of the little things. I'm actually going to show y'all. <laughs> I've kept like 75% eh, of the notes sent home over the year. At least the ones that, you know, just a has tonight. I can't wait to do a video on that. I'm going to have to clear up some memory on my phone to do a longer video because right now I have like shit for space. I have like five minutes of recording time right now and I've already used step three. And it, I'm gonna show you a bunch of them because it's just crazy, it is. And you know why they pick on her is she can't speak. Well, she can speak, but she's not able to like communicate the same way everybody else does, you know? If she needs something, she'll ask for it the best way that she can say the word, but she's not gonna come home and say, you know, this person said or did this, or they didn't do this, or you know. I thought many times of putting a nanny cam on her, but with the way they like to call the cops and things, um, I just decided against doing that because I, I don't think it's legal here in Ohio without their knowledge. But yeah, but honestly, it's done. It's done. I'll share the past stuff, but there won't be anything new coming from the school thank god because i am so over it and done with it and just she deserves this break because she understands everything you can say like just because she doesn't respond back verbally like she, trust me she is 12 and she knows a lot more than people give her credit for my husband and i have seen many times where we say something when she's around and um you know, she responds to it without being even directly said to her. And it, it's, it's frustrating, you know, with people who don't know her or know about autism or, I don't know, it's just frustrating. But it's all about to go good and it has been a really great day. Tomorrow's Sunday, church day, awesome. Hopefully my best friend stops by, that'll be cool. So. Have a great Saturday night. Build a bonfire. Drink some beer. Drink some whiskey. If you don't drink, 
That's cool too. Drink some water. Just spend time with your loved ones. It's a great time of year.